Welcome, welcome, welcome to Orchids for Dummies, a place where you can get your life. Now in today's video, honey, this is my fall orchid supplies, honey. All of the supplies that I will be needing to help my Phalaenopsis orchids successfully make it through the winter season. But in this video, these are the supplies I will need. Stay tuned. Queen for sphagnum moss. Yes, New Zealand. Honey, what's wrong with you? The premium kind, honey. So, yes, this will help maintain moisture because now that we are in the cooler season, I will only water my Phalaenopsis orchids every 10 to 14 days, okay? We're not watering once a week. We're not watering twice a week anymore. We are now going to slow the watering down. And this um, moss is going to maintain moisture. Now, I'm not going to um, pot most of them in complete moss. No, ma'am. That's why I purchased me some pearl. Okay, Fab Pal. So, I just wanted you to see a little bit what it looks like. It's non-decomposable. All it does is just help ventilate um, your pot, especially with sphagnum moss. It's going to make sure that your sphagnum moss is not being compacted at the bottom of the pot. Okay, next up, I have my Orchiata bark. Now, this is the bark that Americans are now craving for, honey. Every season, it's a new trend. They just said water culture was the new thing, honey. Now, they're saying put it back in the bark, okay? <laughs> so, I got me some of this New Zealand um, premium bark off of Amazon. And what I chose to do is um, make my own blend of, um, of orchid um, potting mix. Because typically, that's what most of your growers are doing. Stay tuned. I wanted to give you a comparison of my new bark. Now, remember, this is the bark that I was using because it was very affordable off of Amazon. And it also said that it was endorsed by the American Orchid Society. If you guys haven't seen my last supply video, I will leave a link in the info card above. Now, this is when you are a new grower, they really don't tell you that it's a difference between the bark. All I know is bark should be bark, okay? So um, this bark is um, what I have in most of my pots now. And I could tell you many, almost, almost all of my orchids do not like this bark. And how I can tell is all of the roots are determined to go upwards instead of down. Now this Orchiata bark right here, you can you see this? This is very small compared to this, okay? So what I am going to do is just mix a little bit of these into a whole bunch of the Orchiata. And what I also um, realized is that the Orchiata bark, it holds moisture a lot better than this bark down here. Now this bark I would boil I would run water through time and time again, and I just could not get it to hold any moisture. Now, this bark right here also comes with perlite and charcoal, and um, it just, the plants that I have, they do not like it. And you guys know I have um, very generous of orchids, so for none of them to like it, that's not a good thing. Um, it's not a good thing at all. But this is the best bark I could find. However, um, the only thing is this kind right here that I have is so small that for most pots, it will come out um, through the bottom of the pot. So you have to be very careful. And that's why I said I would put some of the bigger bark at the bottom of my pots for drainage, honey. Stay you guys have not seen the video of the tour that I did of Oak Street Garden Shop then honey, I will leave a info card above, okay? But this was actually just one piece of bark and I had them trim it into two pieces because I wanted to mount them for my, I wanted my miniatures to be mounted on there and I thought that was just way too big for one orchid. So they were so nice to cut it up into two pieces for me. So these will be my mounted, um, for my mounted miniature orchids. Stay tuned. 
Okay, so Foul Pals up next is an idea that I am hoping will keep humidity up at nighttime during these winter months. And that's going to be a humidity tray. Now what this actually is, is just a cooking sheet that you can get from any store, okay? Now what I chose to do was put the pebbles on it at nighttime. What I am going to do is fill the tray with water, just enough to um, have the rocks um, slightly covered. And then I place all of my orchids onto the cooking sheet. Now I actually have two of these. So that's what I do at night. When I wake up to open the curtains, and let the sun in, I put all of the orchids back to their original place and I place both baking sheets, I empty out the water and place both baking sheets on top of my refrigerator where no one could see. Stay tuned, not find any of the mini Phalaenopsis pots like this at all because I was going to put all of my minis in here. Not because this is my favorite pot, but because this is a pot that it's very hard to overwater. In fact, you would have to water it a little bit more. So, it's the same that goes with this pot right here. Now, you guys know I did a video on orchid pots. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a info card above. You want to remember, especially diff dealing with different medias, that the type of pot that you have is going to have a big part to play. This right here is um, my Schillerania Wilson. And as you can see, I put um, bark and um, I put moss in here, predomin predominantly moss. And she really, she really took off. She does not like the bark, but she really um, is growing very well in this pot and that's what you ultimately want.